hello and welcome to my vlog. I'm Chris Hoare, the son and biographer of Mike Hoare, and this is the book that I wrote on his extraordinary life. And I've got it for sale as soft cover and hard cover with gold foil. Now, one of the things that people often ask me is what sort of men became wild geese in the Congo in 64 and 65 with Mike? And the, the answer is quite interesting. It's probably not what you would expect. Of course, Mike wanted trained men, military men who had had some training. And he was terribly disappointed when the guys got off the plane and not many of them had military training. And of course, he soon made them officers and he himself trained the rest for a few weeks. Now, of course, they were all there for the money, but what Apart from that, what, what sorts were they? Of course, uh, the one word to describe them all was adventurous. They were all adventurous, but within that category, you will find that some of them were hunters, some were rangers, they were all mostly outdoor lovers. And unfortunately, some of them were criminals on the run, and there were even a very small number of wanton killers. Now, people say, why did these guys go to the Congo? And the, the answer is very interesting. Of course, the answer is money. They all went for the money, but there were other reasons as well. And some of the guys told me quite unashamedly that they'd gone to get away from their wives. Others said that they had gone to find themselves in the Congo. You know, these were the young guys, 20, 20 year olds. And of course, I later heard that Mike did not approve of people going to the Congo to look for themselves. And of course, I've heard from a number of them that they wanted to test themselves and see how they would react under fire. Uh, it's also interesting to ask, why did Mike go? Did he fit into that category? Did he go there for the money? Or what, what was it that pushed him? Of course, he had done very well in the Second World War. He was demobbed as a major. He was a brilliant leader of men. And then he became a chartered accountant. And now this was an opportunity for him to get back into the military life that he loved and that he was good at. So there's one reason for going. I can tell you right now that money was not a factor he had made a lot of money in the motor business in South Africa before going. But the main reason that he went to the Congo was to stop the Reds. That's why he went. Because remember those were the Cold War days. There was many people believed that the communists were going to get a foothold in the Congo and then they were going to come south. And Mike said, not on my watch. And he went. And he stopped them. Of course, as we know now, uh, he had 300 men whom he dubbed the wild geese. And in three campaigns, they pushed the communist rebels out of the country and restored some semblance of law and order. Now, if you've enjoyed my talk today, you are welcome to keep in touch with me. And or if you'd like to find out more about my books, please email me or use the contact facility on the website. Thank you very much. Now, if you've enjoyed this vlog and would like to suggest a topic for another vlog, please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll endeavor to answer your particular question. Thank you.